All there is is cactus, cactus and cactus. Christina tells me that there is much more cactus on earth than humans. I think I believe her because there is a lot here. Yeah, sun in the eyes forever. two-day, one-night bikepacking route called Anza Hapaha, which is around 83 miles with around 6,000 feet of elevation. We're going to be doing it counterclockwise, which is the opposite direction um, than the route on bikepacking.com. The reason for this is to hopefully avoid some of the sand on the uphill part. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a first-time experience for me camping in a bivy and not a tent, so I'm pretty well, I'm pretty nervous actually to see how it's going to go, but I think it'll be it'll be an interesting one because we're going to be testing it out in like 30 degree weather. It is cool. Whatever that means, right? Yeah. I don't know. We are in the middle of BFE. But uh, I think now we're to the real stuff. Although the first five miles was like deep sand. Um, so where are we? We are in the wash, but I guess we have to hike um, through here. Half a mile or something? Well, so, we're a mile and a half from the turn. Yeah, well, but it's, I think it said the hike part was maybe half a mile. We'll find out. We'll find out. Coming through the crack in cleats. Through the hike-a-bike. I don't know if I can climb up in my cleats. Ooh. Alright, hold on. I need you to take it. And then I have to go back. This one right there. You'll roll it up that. Well, we're walking through this wash. It's pretty crazy. We've had to do decent portage. Just step after step. Pretty wild, huh? Yeah, pretty wild. We're just in that right there. I think we're almost at the top. Just a little bit further, I believe. Definitely feels remote out here. on the storm the riders on the storm there's some little town over here we're getting to the end of the day 
finally to a little easier to pedal on road. our spot for the night um, we got a really late start so we are stopping here because um, it makes sense we're at kind of a peak and just scouting a spot to actually put down our bivvies uh, we did about 30 something miles today just over 30 and now dinner, which is gonna be a cold dinner of turkey jerky. Hey guys, so we're in the bivy. It's like basically <coughs> a coffin, kinda, but not. Um, oh no, I just realized I'm probably blinding you, oh God. And it's really cold, and it's sad because I'm all alone. I'm here. Yeah, so this is my home for the night. Very small little tiny tent. Not sure if you can tell. <sighs> This is our camp spot. That's Christina's bivy. This is my bivy. It's the bikes. Bikes. Um, desert landscape. Got the sunrise. Tiny little moon up there. No idea how bad I'm looking, but. That's what we got. Come over here, I have something to say. Oh, she's got something to say from inside this thing. It's so cold and we've been awake since the beginning, or at least I have, and there's no way to get warm. I don't know why. Well. Huh. Luckily, it's not too cold. It's so cold. <laughs> right now, there's nothing as too many layers. Oh, because it's a cold one. Oh, it was a cold night, but I think we're going to be climbing up and That'll help things get a little bit warmer. And then we have a pretty long descent um, down around 4,000 feet to sea level. So, or just or about sea level. So, got windproof layer, a puffer jacket, a vest, a base layer, a jersey, sports bra, all sorts of layers going on here. Uh, a little bit of a flat tire situation. Oh, that's what you get for camping between cactuses. But at least it's warming up because of the sun. We're about to do the second half of this ride. <laughs> Bike, little one. Good job. It's really hard to tell how steep this is. It's so steep. 
Oh my god. We made it to the split rock, which is really the halfway point of the route. Now uh, we got a long downhill. Starting to warm up. That last section was pretty wild. Lots of rock crawling, but uh, I think we're through. I think the rough spot, but we'll find out. Never know, there's always more unexpected things. I lost the gloves, so who, who knows what else will happen next. Well, this thing is taxing. Lots of walking. It's just thick sand. It's gnarly. Just like super hard to ride. Just super thick. This is the most ridiculous thing ever. The sand just keeps going. Today was such an incredibly emotionally challenging and physically challenging day for me. Maybe Jason too. Um, yeah, it was like so much sand, so much walking, um, but we, we did it. Mm -hmm. And we did skip the last bit of dirt and take the road because we were not going to survive. Well, we didn't have time. Mm -hmm. It was brutal.